Begin using your set, open the case and remove the airbrush holder. Unscrew the clamp so that it can be inserted into the base of the jig. Continue until the clamp fits securely to your work table or bench, and then tighten to secure it in place. There is an optional regulator fitting that is provided if you find that you need it. Remove the airbrush cleaning pot, unscrew the lid, and take out the contents. Place the o-ring that is provided securely over the threads of the wash pot and screw the top of the pot in place. Insert the two provided filters into the larger hole on the top of the lid and attach the airbrush holder into the smaller hole. The covering cap is provided when the airbrush is not in use. Next, insert one of the air hoses into the compressor. We recommend Teflon tape for a secure seal. Apply the tape in the opposite direction of where the air hose will be attached. This will give you a better seal. Connect the other end of the air hose into the airbrush. Careful not to over tighten. And insert your choice of airbrush paint. Make sure the compressor is plugged in and then power on. Insert the bottle into the bottom of the airbrush. When you're ready, push down on the trigger for air and pull back for paint. Make sure you keep in mind, the more you pull back the trigger, the more paint is applied. To clean airbrush, put approximately one half inch of water into the cleaning pot. Clean out the paint bottle and fill it with water. Attach bottle of water to airbrush. Insert nozzle into gasket, apply pressure, and pull back to clean. Continue this process until the airbrush is clean and the water runs clear.